What up, Data Nerds? In this video of the tutorial, we'll be going through how to create a parameter in Tableau. For this, we're going to start with the use cases of parameters in Tableau. Then we're going to work into actually implementing a parameter in a calculated field. And then finally, we're going to take it one step further and expand upon how we can do different things with parameters in Tableau. So with that, let's jump right in. Parameters are I like to think of them as variables. They can be a single vi uh, variable, such as an integer or a float, and or they can be a list of different items. And we can use those things in three different things within Tableau. We can use them within calculated fields, within reference lines, and then also within filters. What I have found is that I use this predominantly in calculated fields. I have used it in these other uh, two areas, but mostly in calculated fields. So for this example, uh, the next one that we're going to do, we're going to focus on calculated fields. We're going to be creating a calculated field using a parameter. For this, we're using the Tableau Superstore data set, which has a data field or uh, yeah, data field of sales. And what we can do is, is we can establish a uh, commission rate and we can multiply it across that sales field to get a commission that we're going to find for each one of the employees in that data set. Um, I've highlighted in these colors because it's going to follow the same color trends within Tableau and we're going to see that parameters are this purple color and that uh, normal fields um, whether it's a calculated field or normal field is going to be orange. To show the final product of what we're going to be creating using a parameter, and we want to make it to where the user can select the different uh, values for commission, and then from there visualize what would be the uh, commission for each one of the employees based on a certain value. Let's go ahead and create a parameter. There's a couple ways you can do this if we're basing it off of a field. You could right click here and say collect, uh, create parameter. Um, we're going to also, there's another option is what we'll do is we'll come up here, click this down arrow and say create parameter. And for this, we're going to be creating a parameter called uh, commission percentage. And it is going to be a float, but you could change it to be any of these values that, that are applicable for a parameter. And we'll make the current parameter a 0.2, so 20%. Uh, the current value will be displayed when opening. Uh, it just means that will, if we change it, it will it will change back to 20% uh, when we reopen this workbook or restart over. And yeah, display format will keep it in the automatic uh, format. And then finally, we'll get to this uh, in the next one, but. You can have different values of, uh, this is a single value, you can also do a list and a range, and we'll get to list next. Okay, so this commission percentage is now created. Let's actually create, let's actually utilize it and create a calculated field that uses that parameter. So, we're going to go in and create a calculated field, and this will be commission. And as we previously stated, this is going to be the sales times the commission percentage. And you can see sales is a, a field, so it's orange, and that commission percentage is a parameter, so it is purple. All right, so we have commission now available. And remember, we wanted to look at what was the commission for the different employees. So I can take my the names column, the names, and throw it up here into the columns, and then take commission and throw it into the rows, and this is a sum of commissions. I'm gonna throw the names into colors to color it, and I'm just gonna sort it from high to low. Okay, so now we can see all of the different uh, commissions that are um, received by all the different employees and also have a little legend here. Now that it is in here, we can also allow the users to that, that's using this dashboard to change this by going into here, right-clicking that com commission percentage and selecting show 
parameter. So now it's available right here, and if they want to, you can come in and change it into uh, 30%. I um, mean, you can you can do a lot of different things, uh, but right now they have full control over it, and they could put in some values that may not be necessary. So let's take this a step further, and let's give the parameter certain values that we want the user to actually select from. So we'll come to the parameter and we're going to edit it uh, again. So remember we stuck with all last time. Let's go to a list format. And what we're going to do is we're going to do from 5 to 30 percent uh, for values that you can select in 5 percent increments. So I'm going to go ahead and populate that. And as you can see from here, these are the values that are going to be actually input into the calculated field. And this is what it's going to be displayed as uh, in this display as column. And we want uh, one thing to change. I want the default value to be 20% when we open this workbook or anytime we start over. So now that it is all entered, we're going to go ahead and click OK. Okay, and as you can see, it updated at 20%, but the user can't really see uh, that it has the different uh, options available. So we could change this to a single value list like this, but I, I like the uh, slider option better. So they can go in and actually select different uh, values by using the slider. So that wraps up this video on parameters. We went through the different use cases of parameters in Tableau, and then we went through a simple example of just using one value for a parameter and then expanded it to a list of values for uh, parameters. As a quick shout out, this video is part of a tutorial where we go through and connect to a data set in Google Sheets for the Tableau Superstore data set. And we make a dashboard in Tableau and bring it all the way into Tableau Public for anybody to access. So if that seems interesting, please consider subscribing. Also, if you found this video useful, please like it. And then finally, uh, comment down below on things that you'd like to know more about Tableau that would help you in your job. I'd like to use that to help guide where this video series is going with the Tableau. Thanks for uh, joining me today and hope to see you again.